women have been on the front lines of this pandemic with fields such as nurses, lab techs, home care workers, and personal support workers dominated by women. And as people began to go back to work over this summer, women were not returning to the workforce at the same rate as their male colleagues. As economist Armin Yalnezian has said, Statistics Canada labor force data for May showed we were having more of a he recovery than a she recovery with more men returning to work than women. In July, the Standing Committee on the Status of Women met to examine the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic on women. And one key message was the importance of childcare. Without access to safe and affordable childcare, it won't be possible for both parents to return to work. And most often, it is the woman that will stay home to care for their children or their elderly parents. For single parents, there often is no choice. So I welcome the government's commitment to a significant long-term and sustained investment to create a Canada-wide early learning and childcare system. We cannot let access to childcare be a barrier for parents choosing to re-enter the workforce. I also welcome the commitment to an action plan for women in the economy and to a feminist intersectional response to the pandemic and recovery. We must consider both the needs of diverse Canadians and have diverse voices as part of the, that task force of experts.